antenna. Cause yes, yes, yes. yes. Come on and show them what. What's up, everybody? My name is Jonathan, and I want to welcome you guys to Eternal Wealth with Jonathan, where I help you guys get in shape physically, mentally, and spiritually. In this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to add strength, size, and definition to your chest using only resistance bands. We're going to do a total of five exercises. It's going to be really catered towards just really helping to build that strength, build that size, and build that mass by hitting all the three different sections of your chest, your upper, your clavicle head, your middle sternal fibers, and your lower abdominal fibers to get a full chest workout to be able to build those gains and build that strength in your chest. So let's get into it. All right, first we got the standing press, and the standing press is a great exercise to develop the chest with resistance bands, especially for working out at home without the luxury of a bench or weights. It is a compound exercise that targets the chest primarily and also the anterior deltoid and the triceps. Some key benefits that the standing press will give you over like a standard lying bench press is that unlike a standard press, where you're lying on your back, whether it be on like a bench or anything like that, which will really limit the core involvement. The standing press will just enable you to engage your core and stabilizing muscles far more, just giving you, you know, more muscles that are activated in, in the movement to be able to burn more calories when you're doing it standing as opposed to lying down. Another standing cable chest benefit is that you can really increase the range of motion in the pressing movement when you're doing it standing and especially with with like a cable or a resistance band so that's just another big key that will be crucial for helping you really build muscle being able to really increase that range of motion in your form you want to make sure that when you press that you're not leaning too far forward that leaning forward into the movement is going to really be detrimental to just your balance and your isolation of your chest so you definitely, if you find yourself leaning, you want to really lessen the weight so that you can really get a full range of motion, locking the elbows all the way out and holding that at the top uh, of the movement to be able to really activate and just engage the chest a lot more to see it strengthen and grow. All right, the second exercise we have in this resistance band chest workout is going to be the standing incline press and the standing incline press it is a compound movement that will work the chest it'll work the anterior deltoid and the triceps it'll also engage the muscles in your back your core and glutes as they, these will act as stabilizers in the movement so this is a really great compound upper body exercise the biggest difference in the incline presses though compared to the standard press is that the standard press will mainly target the sternal head fibers, which is gonna be like the middle portion of your chest, as opposed to the incline press is gonna really target that upper chest area. So it's just gonna be really good to be able to hit a different section of your chest. The incline range of motion is definitely gonna be more difficult too than the standard version of presses. But I have found too, because of this, is that inclines are definitely one of the best chest press variations for targeting and correcting imbalances in the upper body and in the chest, which is why I really enjoy doing them a lot. A lot of people I see too, like experience some shoulder pain when performing incline presses, whether it be standing or on like a standard bench with dumbbells or a straight bar. And I see this a lot because you see people really flare their elbows out way too wide when, while doing the movement. So you really want to keep yourself from flaring at your elbows and try to keep them at around a 45 degree angle. That will just help lessen that stress on the shoulder so you don't have have all that tension on the joints that can cause you some injury or just some soreness. You also wanna make sure you get a full range of motion on your press and get a good like one to three second hold at the top of that press just to really be able to activate your chest better to be able to really build and sculpt out that upper part of, of, your, of your chest. The third exercise in this resistance band chest workout is going to be our close grip presses. And close grip presses, they're a great upper body compound exercise. It's going to really emphasize the chest and tricep muscles as well as the shoulder. And using the, this variation as a close grip is going to really help you increase your upper body pushing strength and is a, an exercise that will definitely round out a really good chest or push day. 
The close grip is really an exercise. It's gonna really just help build mass specifically in the chest and upper body and will really help you build strength because it's gonna really emphasize that tricep. And emphasizing that tricep is just gonna be a muscle that in, in your pushing motion is gonna be important to build strength in. And this close grip is gonna really help build that strength in your tricep muscles to be able to be stronger in your pushing motion. Many people also find that doing the close grip presses is gonna be a lot more shoulder friendly. It's gonna put a lot less stress on the shoulder. So it's definitely one that if you have some, some shoulder issues that doing close grip presses you're gonna find is a lot more comfortable as opposed to a normal press. So you'll definitely find that helpful. And you wanna make sure that when you're performing close grip presses, that you're keeping your elbows really close to your body during the press to properly engage your triceps and chest. You don't wanna have your elbows too far wide out. That's gonna put a little bit more stress on the wrong muscles and bones and joints. So you wanna make sure you really keep your elbows tight and you wanna fully lock out when you do the press. That full lockout is gonna really help build that strength a lot more effectively as opposed to like a half lockout or a three-fourths lockout. You wanna lock it all the way out and really squeeze your chest together when coming up on that close grip press movement. That's why you'll really feel that and you'll really build that chest and tricep strength on when you perform it in that way. The fourth exercise in this resistance band chest workout is gonna be flies. And this is gonna be the fly variation where you're going from high to low. And flies in general, they're gonna be one of the few isolation exercises for the chest. And they're a great finisher to any chest day, especially after performing your compound lift. This is why I have these fly variations last. They're just a great add-on to be able to really break down the chest and muscle fibers to be able to build it up, to be able to get that strength and to be able to get that definition and size in it. And flies are so effective in this because flies put a lot of tension on the chest muscle specifically with the movement as you go through its entire range of motion, which is a huge benefit compared to like a chest press where the tension is gonna be distributed on the bone or like a dumbbell fly in which the tension is gonna be relaxed at the top of the movement. The cable fly is what's gonna really keep that tension on the muscle throughout the whole entire movement, which is why it's really great for developing the chest and why it's gonna be a really good exercise also for people that have like maybe some joint issues or some pain doing like your heavier compound chest lifts to be able to still target and build the chest. The high to low versions of the fly is gonna really target the lower chest the most, but it will engage really the entire chest, just the low, the, the low portion of the chest is gonna be what's emphasized. And you, when you're performing it, you wanna make sure that you really engage your chest by emphasizing the contraction at, at the peak of the movement and you wanna keep your elbows slightly bent throughout the whole range of motion. That's what's gonna help you really keep optimal tension on the chest while doing your flies. And it's gonna be important so that it just reduces your likeliness for injury and just being able to help keep that tension to be able to build the muscle and strength in your chest. And the fifth and final exercise that we're gonna add to this resistance band chest workout is gonna be our flies from a low to high position. And remember, this is gonna be a chest finisher after we have done our heavier compound movements. This is really help enhance the breakdown of our chest muscle to be able to build size, to build definition, and to build that strength in our chest. And in this low fly, really any fly, you will experience a lot of the same benefits that flies give you as far as being able to provide constant tension on the chest muscle through the range of motion at the peak contraction, through the eccentric and through the isometric parts of the movement. It will also give your chest a good stretch under the resistance or the load that you have on it, which can help lead to greater muscle gain. And again, it will be a great replacement exercise as well for anybody who might have bone or joint issues that hinders you from being able to perform heavier compound movements or just any type of compound lifts like a press, for example. So this is just a great either chest finisher or replacement exercise for people that cannot do those heavier compound lifts to build muscle. The low to high will target more of the upper, upper and middle chest as opposed to your high to low that's gonna really 
really puts a lot of focus on that lower chest. So just gonna emphasize different muscles in the chest to finish out the workout, which is just gonna really just help build the muscle, build strength, and be able to make sure we really hit every part of the chest with our finishing movements. All right, guys, and that's gonna be the end of this resistance band chest workout. If you guys enjoyed that, definitely be sure to leave a like and comment with maybe what your favorite exercise was, where the hardest exercise was, and subscribe, because I'll always be uploading new content every week, whether it be fitness-based, faith-based, whatever it is to help you guys get in shape physically, mentally, and spiritually. That's what this channel is for, so if you guys are interested in content like that, definitely subscribe so you are the first ones to catch the new videos when they come out. To end, I'm gonna give you guys this verse. And this is Psalms 103, 2 through 3, which says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. All right, I wanted to give you guys that verse because I think it's just a great reminder of the healing power of God. And if you are needing a healing, whether it be in your physical body, whether it be relationally, whether it just be in any way, shape, or form, that you need God to step in for a miraculous healing, that he can do that and that he desires to do that for you, and that the healing power is still manifesting and it's still working. So whatever it is, whatever sickness, whatever just thing that might need healing, I encourage you to give that to God because God can meet that and God will meet that when you give those things to him and you trust him and have full faith in what he can do for you in your life. So I just want to give you guys that. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in to this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.